Hi everyone, Bonnie here. Welcome to Day 8 of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. I'm a big fan of mushrooms, crafted or edible. I love them. So I was pretty excited when I opened up the door and found a die set of not one but two mushrooms and their layering dies, so it doesn't get any better than that. I started off by doing all of my die cutting and assembling the mushrooms. The outline die of the mushroom cap for the large mushroom was cut out of dark gray cardstock and for the smaller one red cardstock and then I did the opposite for the detail portion. When preparing to die cut the detail mushroom cap, I take the detail die and use a little bit of low tack tape and hold it centered onto the outline die. The underside for the large mushroom and the stems were also cut from dark gray cardstock. The mushrooms are easily assembled. The detailed mushroom cap is adhered to the solid one. You'll notice that there's a score line on the cap and that indicates the placement for the underside of the mushroom. For this mushroom, because the underside is visible, the stem is placed on top of the die cut in the center of that detail. This stem is sitting on top of two layers of cardstock and I want the mushroom to lie flat. So I adhere low profile foam squares to the stem so that it will be even. And the little mushroom is quickly put together with the detail of the mushroom cap adhered to the solid one and then the cap adhered to the top of the stem. This die set also comes with two dies that produce little grassy details. Each die was cut twice. Two of the grass profiles were adhered to the bottom of the stem of each mushroom. I'm using my blending tool for black ink and just lightly brushing the edges of the mushroom cap to give it some more definition. The sponge applicator on the blending tool holds ink, so I'm not going to be adding any additional ink to it. One of the dies from Classic Scallop Circle Small was used to die cut light gray cardstock and black sheet foam. They were stacked together and adhered to an A2 size black card base. Both the mushrooms and the two additional grassy profiles are adhered to this circle. The sentiment for this card is from a die set called Outline Sentiments. These are quite fine and I just dot the glue on the back to adhere them to the top of the scallop circle. After adding in a few red pearl embellishments, I decided I just needed to add a little something else to this card. So I pulled out the Build a Wreath die set. There are so many wonderful elements. It was easy to find a couple of branches that would be suitable for this card. I chose two different styles and die cut them from a greenish gray cardstock. One side the branches were used to frame the scallop circle and on the other side the branches were anchored right onto the card base. To help pull the eye out slightly beyond the focal point of the scallop circle some additional red pearls were added. And that completes this sweet hello card featuring day eight of Spellbinder's Crafty Advent Calendar. I hope you'll stay tuned for day nine, a fun interactive card. Thank you for visiting and as always, I appreciate your visit.